Just yesterday we were talking about resolutions in the office. I told a colleague that I wanted to just chill out more in 2017 and what did he recommend? He said you should take an improv class and here we are today talking about just that. Doug Rothgeb is the artistic director of Big Canvas. Alum Dwayne Brown is now on the board and then Mike is standing by with two other guests for an improv game. Good morning gentlemen. Good it's morning. nice to have you back Good and morning. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hey Doug, what is uh, Big Camp? We'll talk about these classes but set up your group. What do you do? Yep. We are a, a nonprofit organization mm -hmm. that believes in comedy for everyone. Um, we started off uh, doing just improv shows throughout the community, uh, places like the Backline Pizza mm -hmm. Shop, and now we've grown to teaching classes for the mm -hmm. last year and a half. We've got over 100 students. We just had our first alumni class. Uh, Dwayne and Kendra are both uh, alumni of our, of our organization, and, and we, uh, we're growing uh -huh. every, each and every year. And so we do community classes. We also do uh, workshops and team building exercises. So the, the classes come in levels. Yep. And, oh, hey, Morning Blend on the Big Canvas website. Uh, <laughs> what is your level one? Because that's who we're pitching today is the people who would want to yep. take level one. What's that? class line. We have, uh, basically they learn eight games mm -hmm. uh, that you see on whose line is it anyway. And those games are very simple. One of them here is going to be one that Mike uh, will be learning uh -huh. today, three-headed expert. Yeah. Uh, they learn eight, eight games and then on the eighth, uh, epi or then at the end of that eight days, they uh, basically do a show uh -huh. in front of the audience if they want to. They don't have to. We're not forcing them to do them, but uh -huh. if they want to. And it's a good way to learn skills as far as communicating, saying yes, and, and at least uh, just learning how to be in front of people and speak. Dwayne, are you a comedian? No. no do you I... ever plan to be one? <laughs> no. Okay, no. so why did you take this class? What did you get out of it? Well, uh, my, by day, I'm an architect, mm -hmm. and so I have no experience in the theat theatrical world, but uh, on a whim, I signed up for their level one class and just had a blast. I mean, it is just the funnest thing you can imagine. You, you get to think on your feet, you, know, you gain confidence, and it's just a, a hoot to do and to be with. So I imagine you interacting with clients, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And you're showing them these plans and you're, you're pitching them. Do you think something like this affected what you're doing professionally Oh, totally, now? totally, because you rely on your team, uh -huh. because that's what improv teaches you, is to rely on your team. It relies on you to uh, just ha have, a, have fun with it. Yeah. And so that's what you do with clients, that's what you do with improv. So who do you think should take it? Oh, I think it's everybody. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's just a blast. Really? Like yeah. me who needs to chill out in 2017. Yeah. Does it let you sort of surrender to the moment instead of feeling like you've got to control everything? That's right. Yeah. And, there, and it's not a comedy of one. Uh -huh. It's a, definitely a team effort. And yeah. so you get to meet a lot of great people, mm -hmm. you know, you gain, gain some confidence, it's just a blast. Well, we'll show you some information about these classes, but you heard him mention Kendra. So Mike is standing by with Kendra Karbowski <laughs> and Dean Brame. So Bud, we'll send it over to you. Set this up. All right, thank you. Here's the deal. So Dean over here <laughs> is a level four student. Kendra, Big Canvas alumni. When did you get done with Big Canvas? You just, got, you just graduated. You just graduated. Okay, she graduated. Mm -hmm. I'm a, would you consider me a level one? Do I have a level yet? <laughs> I'm a level I, I one. You've got so listen, don't expect okay. anything funny out of me yet, okay? <laughs> okay, so what are we going to do? What are we going to play? Uh, we're going to play the three-headed expert. Okay, how does it work? Uh, basically, we will be linked we together. Link arms. Yes. And we will have a word. The and peanut gallery is over here going to give us a word, right? right. Somebody over there going to give us a word? Gonna, and then they're going to ask us questions, and we can only answer with one word. Okay, okay, Kendra, thank you. Doug, would you give us? Yes. Um, well, what we'll do is we'll start off. We brought some experts together. Okay. Can anybody give us a, uh, a topic for this to be about? You, you do that. Okay, Mariah we'll just. Oh. Mariah, oh gosh, Mariah, Mariah Carey. Carey. All From right. Kayla, so, our peanut expert. gallery oh now my includes my Kayla in the distance. Oh, man. So we will, we will meet experts on Mariah Carey. First experts, please introduce yourself and what they're going to do is one word at a time okay. and, and when they bow we'll know that they're done with their answer. Hello. Hi. Suck. <laughs> <laughs> Introducing. People. But. I. Am. Always. Professional. Sometimes. <laughs> like. When I went to hell <laughs> on Mariah Carey last birthday party. How long does this go? Do we just keep doing this? 
<laughs> well, we were looking at us like, oh, well, that was that was wonderful. Self. When they so, bow, there was no bow. Oh. There was no bow. <laughs> well, you're supposed to bow. <laughs> Wait, oh. Kendra, get him out of it. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Bail him out. Bail him out. You want to set up another one? Yeah. Out? So, uh, so experts, uh, yeah. what can you tell us about Mariah Carey's last performance nationally? Oh. Uh, what what exactly happened? Because oh, some sure. of us don't have direct TV. <laughs> <laughs> or do have direct TV and didn't get to see that happen. So uh, tell us a little bit about uh, Mariah Carey and her last performance. She performed brilliantly <laughs> on New York <laughs> New Year's Eve. <laughs> <laughs> So, so that means we're done with that segment. <laughs> then, then, then we move on <laughs> and ask another question. My so, choice of words here this morning is peculiar. Yeah, he's got suck and <laughs> he's, he's trying to, trying to get trying to think out of, the, out of the box here. Oh, this you know, is like you, holdover from cleaning up after the dog this morning. He's got these residual emotions. <laughs> Go I ahead. thought he was back to oh the sand again okay. like he did that one time. Do we have time for one more? One more. One yeah. more. Okay, okay, let's do one more. Okay. Uh, if, if you could be Mariah Carey for one day, what, what would you do or say to the world about being Mariah Carey? Mm. Wow. Always try harder <laughs> than... <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs> Always try harder. Great advice. Our level one student. Oh, well done. Wow. Thank you guys for being such good sports. That's fun. Okay, so you said something earlier, Doug, that stood out to me, and I noticed it on your website as well, and that is comedy for everyone. Yes. Take us into that phrase and what it means as you apply it. We, uh, we believe that with improv skills, it, it's for everyone. It, it doesn't have to be about the comedy. It can also be about the seriousness, but uh, anybody can do it. We've had students from age 7 all the way up to, say, age 70. So uh -huh. uh, we've had lawyers, we've had plumbers, we've had everybody in between. So the, mm -hmm. the world's been great uh, as far as that goes and they've all learned skills that they can use. Well, these level one classes are starting up real soon. We've got yep. a few options for you to choose from, and we'll show this information. And if you sign up through Eventbrite, you'll get a discount, so you'll see that info. But uh, the eight weeks, uh, that class starts today. Yep, we have one starting today uh -huh. at Sozo Coffee House, taught by Eric Green. Uh -huh. and, and if you sign up on Eventbrite, it's $101.22. Save a little bit of money that way. <laughs> totally random price, but I appreciate yes. it. <laughs> and the same price when you sign up in advance for the eight-week class, which starts on February 7th. Who's teaching that one? We don't know yet. Got we it. believe it's going to be our own, Lin your own, Lindsay Thies. Lindsay Thies. Thies. <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay Thies, who you've seen on Action 3 News. She is also a member of Big, Big Canvas. Canvas. Yes. Yes. Um, and so, but it, it goes back to that point. You can do anything professionally, but it's just taking something out of improv that enriches your life. And that's what I was hearing from you, Dwayne. That's I really right. feel like you said that so well. Right. Eventbrite.com, if you'd like to sign up for either session. Thank you so much for being here, thank fellas. Thank you. And Kendra and Dean, thank you both for being here, too. And before we let Big Canvas go, we want you to know they've got a number of shows on the calendar uh, this month already. Tickets for any of those shows on the screen, just $5. Maybe check those out and then sign up for February if you're just hearing about the group. Thanks again. Perfect. Thank, thank you. you. Well, Mythbusters fans, 